Good morning, grade one students. This is chapter seven, lesson ten, called unit fractions. We will learn today what are fractions. What a fraction is. A fraction can name equal parts of a whole shape. To understand it better, we have a whole cake. The shape of a cake is round, like a circle. The cake can be cut into pieces. This cake was cut into four equal parts. These four equal parts make a whole round cake. This is pizza. This pizza is made of ten slices. Ten slices or ten equal parts make up one whole shape that is a round shape, a circle. Someone takes one slice of pizza. That one slice will be gone. One slice out of ten can show the fraction. I will show you how on the next page. We will learn how do we write fractions. This number is a fraction. Can you see? Now, first of all, what you have to do is count how many equal parts make the whole shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The whole shape is made of eight equal parts. Number eight will be written down under the line. Under the line. Now, one part of the shape is missing. One part is shaded. Number one will be written on the top line. That, that means that one part, one part of eight parts is missing. And this can be represented with fraction. One out of eight or one eighth. Here we have a square. A square is divided into two equal parts. This square has only two parts. So we will write number two down under the line. Now, how many parts of these two are green? Only one is green. So, number one will be written up on the top. We call this fraction one half. Once again, fractions can show how many parts of a whole are shaded. Here we have a shape triangle. How many parts are, is this shape divided into? One, two, three. Three equal parts. So, we will write number three under the line. Now, how many parts of these three parts is colored red? Only one part is colored red. That means I will write number one on the top. We will read this fraction one-third because one out of three parts is shaded. One third of a triangle is shaded. Look at the circle. First of all, we count how many parts is the circle divided into. One, two, three, four. It has four equal parts. Number four we have to write down under the line. This is the number of equal parts. All of them forming the whole shape. Now, how many of these parts is colored blue? Only one part. So, number one we have to write on the top. We will read this fraction one-fourth, which means that only one part out of four parts is colored blue. One-fourth. Now, what do we call a unit fraction? This is very important to know because the next lesson will be called non-unit fraction. 
So what is unit fraction? If you have a shape where only one part is shaded, we call that a unit fraction. So when you write a fraction and you have number one on the top, that will be called unit fraction. A shape in which only one part is shaded out of all parts. Only one is shaded. That fraction is called unit fraction. If you have number one on the top of the fraction, that will be called unit fraction. What are the parts of the fraction? One more time. Look at this. This is fraction. We have two numbers and a line. What are these numbers? Sorry, again. Number four rep represents... Number four represents how many are all of the parts in the shape. Four equal parts. We will write the number four at the bottom. I'm so sorry, this page doesn't want to stay here, so I have to say it very quickly. And number two means how many parts are shaded. We will write number two on the top. Okay, these are the parts of fraction. Let's go and practice now uh, how we will write the fractions. We will do it just very quickly and only orally. Four parts make up the circle. Only one is shaded. We will write it one out of four. One fourth. What about here? First of all, what you need to do, you need to count how many shapes we have in all. How many parts in all. One, two, three, four, five. You will write number five at the bottom of the line. And how many are shaded? One, two. So, two out of five are shaded. Is this unit fraction? No, it is not. Because it has number two on the top, not number one. Only this is unit fraction because it has number one on the top. Only one part is shaded. Let's go and count here. How many equal parts do we have? One, two, three. Three equal parts. We will write number three at the bottom. How many are shaded? One. One out of three is shaded. Is this unit fraction? Yes, it is, because only one shape is, one part is shaded, and we have only one, num here, number one on the top. So, yes, it is unit fraction. Let's go and do the next one. How many equal parts make this circle? One, two, three, four, five. We will write number five at the bottom of the line. How many are shaded? Number one only. One. Is this unit fraction? Yes, it is. Because only one shape is shaded. Let's go and do this one circle. How many parts are making this circle? One, two, three, and four. We have four equal parts. And how many of these four equal parts are shaded? One, two. Two of them are shaded. Is this unit fraction? No, it is not, because there are two parts shaded, not one. Let's see this one. How many equal parts do we have in this circle? Four equal parts. And how many are shaded? One, two, three. Three are shaded. So, is this unit fraction? No, it is not. Because it has three parts shaded, not one. Let's do this one. How many equal parts we have here? One, two, three. Bravo. And how many are shaded? One, two. 
two are shaded. Is, it, is this unit fraction? No, it is not. Because two parts are shaded, not one. Let's count here. How many equal parts do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five equal parts. So, how many of them are shaded? One, two, three, four. Four of them are shaded. Is this unit fraction? Not again, because there are four equal parts shaded, not one. Let's count here. One, two, three, four, five. Five equal parts. How many of them are shaded? One, two, three. Three of them are shaded. Is this unit fraction? No, it is not. Because three parts are shaded, not one. What about this one? How many equal parts do we have? We have two equal parts. And how many are shaded? One. Is this unit fraction? Yes, it is. Because only one shape is shaded. So, please remember, unit fraction is a fraction where only one part of the whole is shaded. When you have number one on the top, that will be unit fraction. Unit fraction has only one part of a whole shape shaded. Okay, ready to go to the textbook, please. Open up your textbook on page 271. Now, the first one is already done for you. One part is green, two parts are equal, so the fraction is one out of two, one half. Let's do this one. How many parts are green? One only. Very good. You have to write number one on the top. One. Now, how many equal parts make this square? One, two, three. Three equal parts. You have to write number three right here. Now, what will be the fraction? Fraction is one out of three. I'm sorry about my writing. One third or one out of three is green. This is how we write the fraction with the line in the middle. Let's go and count that one. How many parts of this triangle are green? Only one. Let's write number one. How many equal parts make this triangle? One, two, three, four. Four equal parts. Let's write number four. So, how will we write the fraction? Number one will be on the top of the fraction, then the line, and at the bottom will be the number of all equal parts, four. One fourth is green. We will continue with the second part of this presentation.